Tom, oh, what are you great. doing here? No one knocks anymore, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want some dance lessons? I know a good guy downtown. No, that's Ego. all right. No, 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 no. <laughs> no Sam and I, we, we sort of prefer slow dancing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the reason why I'm here, I wanted to give you an update on the investigation into Esme's attacker. Okay. And I just tagged along as its official business. I think I'll go down and have a drink and just wait for you down there, okay? Okay. Sure. Give me a little spin. Oh! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, Good night, mother. Um, Luis. Teresa and I, we had our differences, but I never wanted her dead, not really dead. And I certainly didn't want her to die the horrible, grisly death she died, you know, being eaten alive by oh, sharks Ivy, in the Ivy, Ivy, Ivy. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, just know, please, that you and your siblings, Pilar, you're, you're in my thoughts and my prayers. Mm. All right, so what's the latest on Esme's attacker? Damn you, Aunt Sheridan. You're saying that Louise only made love to me because Grandfather forced him to? I think differently. I felt the love when I was in Louise's arms, and I won't feel whole again until I'm there. Help me, I'm so tired of being alone. <sighs> Pretty, honey. I'm, uh, what's wrong? Mother, mother, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of being alone. Oh, honey, no. You, but you're not alone. No, no, you have Julian, you have me, you have Ethan. You no, know, mother, I, I want a man to love me. I want to have a normal life with a husband and children. Oh. oh, my God. You don't think I'll ever get married, do you? You think I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life? <sighs> well, the latest on Esme's attacker is, well, whoever it is, seems to quit while they were ahead. And there's been no more attempts on anyone's life since the night your mother was stabbed. Which still doesn't make sense to me. Me either. Ivy and Esme were never lovers. Were they? No. No, no, no. Of course not. Uh, and it seems that Esme and Julian are back to being hmm. active again. And as far as I know, there's been no more trouble. So, I, look, I just want you both to keep your eyes open. I'm going to do another sweep of the grounds just to make sure I didn't miss anything. You want us to help you? Yeah, we're happy to. No, 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 look, look. You both are off duty. And from what I can see, things are getting back to where it was before, so I don't want to compromise that. Thanks. Yeah, it is amazing how we worked through our problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's great. You two are, are good together. We are. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. well, carry on. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Chief. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> okay, when you say getting a man to love you. You mean Luis, don't you? Does it matter? Yes, it does. Luis loves Fancy, and she loves him. My God, I knew you would take her side. I'm not. Yes. Pretty, I am just telling you how it is. No, you are, Mother. You are putting Fancy's happiness before mine, which is what you've done since the day she scarred me. That is not true. Liar! You haven't loved me since the day I was disfigured. No. no. Just admit it, Mother. Having a daughter who looks like roadkill doesn't really fit into your glamorous lifestyle as Ivy Crane. Okay, that is an awful thing to say. Awful, but true. You wanted me gone. Out of sight, out of mind, and it was very easy for you to tell your perfect plastic surgery friends that I was just healing in Europe. When the truth was, you were really repulsed by me. No, no. Just be honest, Mother. You were glad that I left and thrilled that I never came home to visit. Why? Because I wasn't the perfect daughter anymore. Why? Because I was 
this hideous monster. I was too ugly to even be in the family pictures. <sighs> okay, you know, I really, I really want you to, to stop, stop looking backwards and to start looking forward. You know, I want to have a different relationship with you. I want to have a better relationship okay, with you. Fine. Fine then. Why don't you start by telling me how to get a man to love me, even a man like Luis? Listen to me. My scheming almost cost me Sam. That is the lesson to learn here. Don't try to trick Luis into loving you because it's not going to work. I get it, Mother. Oh, good. You're taking fancy side over mine again. No, I'm not. I'm trying to explain to you how things are. Oh, you are such a liar, Mother. And a hypocrite. Pretty, please. Oh. Everything okay? Oh, well, by okay, you mean that my mother still favors my sister over me, or that she refuses to help me with my happiness. Oh, oh, and also that she wants me gone because of my hideous scar that she's embarrassed about? Then yeah, everything is hunky-dory. Pretty, your mother loves you, and she's glad you're home. Yeah, right. You have to say that or you're not gonna get me. No. No, don't you attack Sam. He has been nothing but nice to you. Unlike some people I know. I just want what is best for you, and I don't think setting your sights on Luis is it. Well, I do. Wait a second. You want Luis? Yes, Sam, and don't think I didn't hear that you've got to be kidding me tone in your voice. I admit it. I want your friend Luis. Why? Just tell me why. Why? Why Luis? Please, there, there must be hundreds of other guys out there who would love the chance to love you. Huh. Name one. I didn't say I knew them. I just said they were out there. FYI, they aren't. Otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten to this age and never been kissed, much less made love to you until Luis came along. Well, you, you saying Luis was your first? Yes, pretty I, pathetic, huh? I didn't mean... Just that. shut up. This is why no man ever wanted me, Mother. Fancy made sure of that that day when she doused me with those caustic pool chemicals. It was an accident. The point is, Mother, is that Fancy went on to have a million men fall in love with her, and I didn't. Any man who was ever interested in me was in it for the money. And not even I was desperate enough for love to add insult to injury. So yes, everyone, I was a virgin until Grandfather insisted Luis make love to me. And it was love, okay? I felt it in his arms and I saw it in his eyes and I want that love again. So if you are not going to help me get it, then I will do it myself. No, a pretty, pretty honey wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let her go, let her go, let her go. Let her, let her cool down. Oh man, Sam. I have been one bad mother. Barely said a word on the drive home. It's pretty. I don't. I don't know what to do about her. Well, you can't help her plot and scheme to win Luis. That's for sure. Oh no, no, no. I know. I know that. I have learned my lesson. Believe me, I have learned my lesson. And that's what I was trying to explain to her. Trying to to tell her to learn from my mistakes, but she wouldn't listen. No, she just sees my refusal to help her. As, as me turning my back on her again, just like I did when she was scarred. <laughs> you know, and I hate to say it, but she's right, I did. I really did. I was so caught up in being the perfect crane wife and the perfect crane mother that I convinced myself I couldn't have a disfigured daughter, so I shipped her away. I shipped her to school and to surgeons and to psychiatrists, anything. Anything to get her out of sight and out of the family pictures. Oh, you know, the scar on Pretty's face, it's really only skin deep. The real scar is the hole I left in her heart when I couldn't love her when she needed me the most. And I am so afraid of what Pretty's going to do to get Louise away from Fancy. You know, everyone is always so quick to accuse Julian of being such a lousy father.
But really, he was just indifferent. I actively put Ethan above all my other children. Fox and Fancy, they, they raised themselves, but pretty. She was scarred, and it was such a crushing blow to her self-esteem that she never, ever got over it. And there I was, keeping her at arm's length because she wasn't physically perfect. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Except that you realize your mistakes and you regret them. Oh, boy. I do. I really do. I do. I do. I am so grateful that you gave me a second chance and forgave me for all the horrible things I did, Sam. I... I don't deserve your love. I mean, love, is, love isn't about deserving it. Love is love. And I love you. That's all that matters. Sam, but I don't deserve you not after all the horrible things I've done. Well, yeah, well, you, you made some mistakes. Yeah. A lot of mistakes, but, but you owned up to them, and you swore that you'd never be that person again. I swear on my love for you, I swear. Look, we've moved on. All right, look into the future. The future Alistair and your father denied us all those years ago, but now it's, it's finally going to be ours. I love you. I know we're gonna be happy. You, me, the children. I love you, Sam. I always have and I always will. And I love you too, Ivy. I love you. <laughs> and I want you. It's just, it's, it's my dream come true. And I only hope that pretty and fancy can find the kind of happiness with a man that I have with you. <laughs> <laughs>